All right, Spen, thank you. Now to our top story this morning. 31 years after her death, there will be justice for Lillian Cooler and her family. The St. Paul woman was murdered in 1987, and new DNA testing helped find her killer, who was just hours away from being sentenced. Cooler's grandson will be in the courtroom. He spoke with us yesterday about finally seeing the end to the three decades old mystery. Ellery McArdle joins us now from Ramsey County Courthouse in St. Paul. Good morning, Ellery. Yeah, good morning, Chris and Lauren. You know, this is the day after 31 years that the Cooler family has been waiting for because this morning they're going to walk into this courthouse and they are going to watch Lillian's killer get his punishment from the judge. Now, for Cooler's grandson, Mark, who we spoke with yesterday, he says he's comforted by this fact, but at the same time, you got to imagine there's going to be a lot of anxiety and then there's going to be really tense in that courtroom, I'm sure, after 31 years. So Mark was in his early 20s when his grandmother Lillian Cooler was killed. He says she was a character and led an incredible life. But at 81 years old, Lillian was killed in her St. Paul home. And it wasn't until last year that further DNA testing linked Michael Withers to the crime. He only lived a mile from Lillian when she was killed. Withers pleaded guilty and could be sentenced today to 20 years in prison. For the Cooler family, they still struggle with one question they know they may never get an answer to. The hard part is, you know, why would somebody kill someone that's 80 plus years old, about 80 pounds, is very frail old lady. And that's probably the biggest question, like why? Sentencing for Michael Withers is at 9 o'clock sharp here, right here at the Ramsey County Courthouse. Back to you. Amazing what science can do. Thanks a lot for that, Ellery.